How's it going everyone? It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon. Today's date is March 23rd, 2024. The time's about 10.15 a.m. Temperature is 91 Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius. Just wanted to see what Ho Chi Minh City is up to on a morning like today and on Saturday of all days. Still pretty lively for a Saturday. Charlene SF 1718 asks if I have TikTok. I do, but that account is inactive. I don't think TikTok is really worth my time investing in. I really only have my focus on YouTube and Instagram. Oh, there's a massage spot over there. It says Dubai. Lots of belts for sale. If you want clothing, Vietnam is a great place to get clothing. This is where a lot of the clothing is manufactured and produced. Eric says it's raining in Miami. Well, it's also Ultra Music Festival weekend in Miami. Hopefully it doesn't rain out on the, uh, the Ultra Music Festival. That'll be bad for all those festival goers. Oh, this is a Singaporean Hainan chicken rice spot. It's even in Chinese. You might be interested in trying this spot sometime. Kevin777 saying the amount of motorbikes amazes me. That's what really surprised me too about Vietnam, but I did experience it in Thailand as well. Lots of motorbikes also in Thailand. Oh really, Robert, the rain sh shorted out Tiesto's equipment halfway through. You see, I told you the rain might be an issue <laughs> for um, Ultra Music Festival. Oh, Sun Fam says, welcome to Saigon. That chicken restaurant has been around for 40 years. They must be doing something right then. Yesterday I did a night video in Saigon and there was so much activity around.
It'll be nice once this Ho Chi Minh City Metro opens up. David asking how is the size of Saigon compared to New York City. It's actually a pretty big city. I think there's like over 20 districts in the city. That's how it's divided. Um, okay, there's 16 districts. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page. Five rural districts and one sub-city. Canada Biz says watching all the bikes during rush hour makes me nauseous. It's actually quiet now compared to um, during the week. How many districts have I visited so far? To be honest, Hong Mao, I haven't been keeping up. It's hard to even know when you're entering or exiting a district. But I can safely say I've been to like around at least four or five of them. Hang P says keep an eye out for dogs. Oh, I know that already. There's a good amount of stray and feral dogs in Vietnam. I think most of the time they're just curious and they bark at people, but they don't really mean any harm or, or want to get aggressive. Frank says it is Saturday there already, not a typical work day. Yeah, I don't think it's a typical work day in Vietnam. Got a shoe cleaner here. With the shoe cleaners, you have to be careful. Sometimes they can be a little bit aggressive and start cleaning your shoes without discussing price first.
Christian says, finally caught your lives. You missed the last two. You must be having loads of fun in Vietnam. Yes, I'm having a lot of fun in Vietnam. There's actually a lot of different districts here and neighborhoods to see. I kind of want to go around the side streets, around Yuanhui Walking Street. Hank says you cross the street like a pro. Only natural coming from New York. This kind of looks like a communications truck. I wonder if it's owned by Viatel, which is the um, cell, phone, cell phone provider that I'm using to stream right now. Canada Bis, what area of New York City do you miss the most? All of it. Kristen Kali asking, would you ever try driving in Vietnam? I'll be open to it. But me as a person, I actually don't really prefer driving. Here getting a car service or getting transported somewhere is relatively um, affordable for me. Just to get from the airport to District 1 was around $4.50. Looks like they're finally uh, tearing this down, possibly, this Pepsi stage. It was pretty popular the last two days. Frank asking if you see many Americans over there. Um, you can tell me just through this live stream. I definitely see foreigners here, but I'm not sure if they're Americans. I think tonight I'm going to be returning here and taking that double-decker tour bus. I said I was going to take a night tour and um, today seems like a great day to do so. Hong Miao is saying plenty of tourists. 
Yes, but uh, nowhere near the density that Bangkok got or Pattaya. I guess these tour buses are sponsored by Pepsi. Kristen says, fun, I wish I sought out a bus tour when I was in the Philippines since walking a lot was so hot. Yeah, I can understand you for sure. You really have to be mindful of your um, body's limitations and hydrate frequently when it's hot weather. Oh wow, this is cool to see, Art Arcade. It's beautiful artwork actually. That's the Ben 10 market, that's Ha Long Bay in the north part of Vietnam. I guess this goes all the way to Yuan Hui Walking Street. Yeah, I don't want to go back there. Let's turn around. But that was pretty cool. Um, Lisa hates the heat, can only take it for a month and you want your cold weather back. Yeah, people's preferences vary. I know some people, they really dislike the cold and they prefer the heat. For me, I'm quite adaptable. I just don't like it when there's extremes and it affects my video equipment or the way I function. Well, this is the Sheraton Hotel here. Strong Yuan legend, the energy coffee that changes life. Let's check out this cafe.
I at least know how to order a coffee in Hello. Vietnamese. Hello, how are you? What do I? I could say, uh, I could say, let me see if I can remember it. Vui long mui muot tak tak cafe. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I've been trying some Duolingo. I just said, please, I would like a coffee. There's a lot of activity around here. I know I've been focusing more on the walking street lately, but these side streets, there's plenty of like high-end restaurants and stores. Looks like the sidewalk's kind of blocked up there, so. Hot pot on the walk. X-Star says cafe is in Spanish. Um, actually, I think coffee or cafe is a loan word for um, many languages throughout the world. Each language has their way to say coffee and they all sound similar to each other. So at least if you know how to say coffee or cafe and you say it in a different country, they're pretty much gonna know what you're talking about. It's a universal word. Lena says you don't usually drink coffee, so no need to learn that. No, you do need to learn it, even though you don't drink it, because it's a very common drink. Just because you don't drink something or you don't use it doesn't mean you shouldn't learn how to say it or learn the language. Golden Elephant Thai Restaurant. Japanese Ramen. Truk Lee says, not so good for businesses in Vietnam at this time. You might see um, any street closures, or oh, shop closures and streets rather quiet compared to pre-COVID. Um, well, pre-COVID, there's a lot more activity in many places. So it's interesting to see it happen in Vietnam as well, how COVID affected business and shops around this area.
is the back of the uh, Ho Chi Minh City Opera House. Lisa Roberts says, Ho Chi Minh City looks like fun at night, maybe cooler. Yes, it is. Definitely a lot cooler. Johnson says, wow, lots of cafe. Definitely uh, something that's very popular around here. The Vietnamese coffee I heard is excellent. They're one of the largest um, growers of robusta beans in the world. Yeah, Peter, you're exactly right. The origins of cafe is French. And um, Vietnam used to be a French colony, so definitely had an influence on Vietnam with the coffee. Thanks, Michael Seffer with 299 Australian. Hello, mate. Thanks for the live stream. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. I wonder what's going on with this building. It looks kind of old. Is it being torn down? This brick building. Oh, Cammy says, love the hat. Thank you. I got it from the Ben 10 market. Frank asking if many e-bikes are here. I don't really see too many bikes, period. Got a sidewalk side restaurant that's pretty popular here in Vietnam you know it's kind of interesting to me just traveling around um, Vietnam and walking the streets even though I don't understand the language the more I see these signs and everything the more I can guess what the words mean
Yeah, Holly, that was a really nice um, flower shop. Actually, you know what? Let me um, head over to the Saigon post office. I know I've passed by it before on a live stream, but it was closed. It should be open now. Although it is Saturday, I don't know if that affects the hours or not. Found out what the word Chen means. It means district, district one. I think in uh, Taiwan as well, I also heard the word Chen. It means like a subdivision of a neighborhood. Christian Hansen says some include cafe, sweat, chua, yogurt, coffee. Hey, um, Duolingo, I learned sua means milk. So I already kind of guessed it coffee with milk. Cafe, trung, egg, coffee, and most famous of all, cafe, sua, da. Iced coffee, yep. Da means ice or chilled and Dong means warm or hot. So cafe dong means hot coffee. And nu means water. I'm actually surprising myself how much Vietnamese I learned just in a week. Whoa, you could be a New York City cab driver with that fast rapid honking. He wins the award. How do you even honk that fast? I can't even uh, talk that fast. Vincom Center Shopping Mall. Lean is saying everything is in fast motion here. Um, it does feel like that sometimes. I'd rather cross here because it's... Uh
I'm gonna have to use the iPhone microphone. This adapter ran out of battery for some reason. So, uh, Let me put this away before I lose it. This is weird because um, I took it out of my charging case and it said it was still charging. I don't know if this mic adapter is still holding a charge or not, but the, uh, the lightning cable attachment was giving me issues like two days ago I had it replaced but I hope this is still holding a charge or maybe I didn't put it in the case um, the case um, securely so it wasn't charging but I don't know we'll find out um, if that's the issue It's charging now. It's also a good time for me to drink some water. Or nua. Nua means water. Vietnamese. Hopefully that adapter charges. I'll find out later. Hung Mao asked if it's still under warranty. Um, I don't think so anymore, but there is a DJI authorized repair center where I got my lightning adapter replaced. I can always go back there. Yes, the post office building is open on Saturday. The Saigon Central Post Office. A lot of people in here. Yeah. 
Постелил вас на мой. As you can see, it's uh, more than a post office. There's souvenir shops and jewelry places. Of course, can't forget the ceilings. Haven't even moved from the entrance. I hope I can just show you a little bit of what it is like to be in here. It's hard to show it with just like one frame of the picture at a time, but there's so much around me. Frank says it looks like Grand Central. Yeah, in a way it does. That's an old map of Saigon. And these are all the post office um, services along the edge here. Got a picture of Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam's founding father. People here are uh, writing postcards to send back to wherever they want to. Plenty says buy some stamps. I think I'm okay without stamps. You know what people write on postcards, right? Greetings from Vietnam. Wish you could be here. I've been here for fun five days already. I'm hot and sweaty. Well, maybe you, I wish you weren't here then if you're hot and sweaty, but enjoy yourself. Bye. There's only so much you could write on a postcard. Lisa says there's a novelty factor to stamps and postcards. Oh yeah, it's an old form of media now. It's much easier to just send an email or a text message, but there's something different about receiving a postcard. I don't think I want to go into that souvenir shop. It looks kind of cramped in there. I'm afraid I might knock something over.
Oh, by the way, look at this. Frank M says, amazing place. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it, Frank. Live from inside the phone booth at the Saigon Central Post Office. I came all the way to Vietnam just to be in this cramped quarter. I'll send you a postcard from here. I wish you could be here, man. This is the best place in all in Vietnam. You can talk and no one can hear you. Look, there's even the phone cable. You gotta attach your own phone. I'm walking here, man. You can't bother me. Xin chào, Tom Biet. Christian Hansen wouldn't doubt it still works. Hey, they have the, the phone cable still there. <laughs> Street ice cream. Highlands coffee. Let's walk through here. This looks cool. There's a few souvenir shops and bookstores here. Nice looking cafe. There's so many bookstores here. J 
Joe asking if they sell pizza here. Um, there is a pizza spot that I saw. I might be interested in trying it. They even have a playground for the kids. got coconut here. I'd get a coconut. I uh one coconut? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He's tapping it. Okay. Sit here. I gave him a two hundred thousand um, bill. Should get back one hundred and eighty thousand and change, or one hundred and seventy-five thousand if it's a larger coconut. All right. Come on. Come on. Okay. Yes. Okay. Vietnamese money. 100,000. 20,000. Fifty thousand. They're all different colors too. And then uh, ten thousand. So all in all I got. And 70, 180,000 back. Perfect change. The bad thing about having all these bills is that uh, there's so many denominations, it's hard to keep track of them all. Vietnam doesn't use coins in everyday transactions, so. It's kind of like I'm switching. You have to really be careful of the value of your bills and the amount of zeros. I wish it was chill though, but this works too.
less than a dollar for this. More like uh, 80 cents, 75 cents. Coconut is so good for you too. Actually, let me get you the conversion right now with current exchange rates. Uh, Twenty thousand. Eighty cents. And seventy-four cents euro. Sixty-four pence. It says eat the meat of the coconut. I mean, I could, but I just wanted the juice. That was a nice uh, refreshment. Biz asks, didn't you buy that shirt in Manhattan? No, I got it off Amazon when I was in the US. John MC says, well, they have to do something about their currency denomination. Too many zeros. Second lowest denominated currency in the world. There's 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, um, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, and 500,000. Bills. <laughs> Try organizing all of that in your wallet. It's it's tricky, and some of them have like similar colors to each other too. Sometimes I confuse ten thousand with five hundred thousand. Lena says, what about coins? Uh, they don't use coins in everyday transactions here in Vietnam. I think they used to, but it's not used in practice. says if you go to Miami it could cost up to seven to ten dollars for coconut juice yeah it's crazy how affordable Vietnam is compared to the US dollar and I thought Taipei and Taiwan was affordable but Vietnam is uh, something else it's even more affordable than Thailand in some places You'll be able to see it in some of my food reviews that I'll release on Action Kid Extra, how uh, inexpensive some of these food items that I get.
Friendship Tower. Rudy says, have you witnessed any traffic accidents? No, I haven't. Oh, Dallas guy, thank you so much for the $20. Your Asia tour is epic. I really appreciate it, Dallas guy. Thanks for the support, glad you've been enjoying them. asking when are you coming back to New York or Florida just stay subscribed to my channel and you'll find out and Ashanti asking how much money do you have to have when going to that country um I can't really say for you but it really depends on person to person how you live your lifestyle and what you expect. A good way to do it is to like make your own budget and use a website like numbeo.com to find the cost of goods for the destination that you want to visit or travel to. I'm not joking you, you can go to a restaurant here, a local sidewalk restaurant, and you can get a great meal for like two, three dollars. And if you really want to go fancy, you get like an air conditioned restaurant, high end place, you can spend like eight dollars or ten dollars on a meal. You compare that to New York City and the prices that I quoted are probably like three or four times more expensive for the type of restaurant that you want to go to. The same thing with accommodations. Bai says in Vietnam you don't have to pay tips yeah there is uh, no tipping culture here as well although I have been to restaurants where they add a service charge to the total bill that's the same thing I experienced in um, Taiwan and Thailand they might they may not expect tips but some restaurants they add on a service charge of like five percent and the same thing i experienced in london people say oh you don't tip in london that's an american thing but the restaurants will add 10 percent service charge to the bill or 11 percent Thank you, Rudy Montoya, with $10. Appreciate it so much, Rudy. 
Thank you for the support. So right now I am headed straight. Um, if I keep going this way, I'll actually reach the Saigon Zoo and Botanic Garden. All right, let's cross the street, folks. Let's do it New York style. I'm freaking walking here, man. Beep, 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 beep. No problem, no problem. Till you says scary. Not scary for me. Gotta cross with confidence. Be determined in your direction. Don't backtrack. Make eye contact. And that's what you need across the street in Vietnam. Be committed to crossing the street. John says, when you're in Bangkok, did it rain at any time? How about Saigon? Has it rained there so far? Uh, John, there was a pretty hard rainstorm that only lasted for maybe around 15 minutes when I was in uh, Bangkok. But I heard that happens over there. Like it'll rain really, really hard for a short period of time and then it'll be sunny. Like nothing happened. Hasn't rained when I'm, when I'm here in Saigon yet. Cooks1822, you sent me a PayPal message. Oh, let me look. Oh, thank you, Cooks. Appreciate it. Uh, would you like to show us the inside? Oh. oh, I don't even know where it is now, but I'll have to look into it. Thank you for the uh, PayPal. Appreciate the support. So the Saigon Zoo and Botanic Garden is across the street. Wonder how much it costs to go in, or maybe it's free. There's a Maserati auto dealership next to me. Let's go into the zoo and the botanic garden. There's a lot of people there. It might be a special event.
Okay, let's go in. The Saigon Zoo. Oh, this is scooter parking. And uh, this... Forty thousand dong to go inside. If you're, uh, oh wait, it's sixty thousand from one meter three. I'm a big adult, so I need to pay more. I'll pay with a 100,000 dong bill. No refund. So this is about two dollars and change to go inside the zoo. It's too bad I don't go under the line. I could have paid forty thousand instead of sixty thousand. I hope my live stream can stay on long enough to show you a good amount of the zoo. I have a good like forty minutes left before I run out of data. At least I don't have to pay for scooter parking. Okay, one. Okay, come on. All right. Let me put my change away. I can get two coconuts with this, so it's a lot of money. Wait, what else do they give me? They give you a keychain too? Wow. What zoo gives you a keychain in addition to the admission ticket? Wow. I feel special now. I got a keychain. All right. It's a tiger. It's a tiger. There's a tiger in here. All right, let's hurry up. I can't run out of data. I got a good like half an hour, 40 minutes to show the zoo. It's about to be worth it, man. I paid 60,000 to get in here. 60,000, it's a lot of money. There's only one lane for collecting tickets. Sounds like that turnstile needs um, some lubrication. The 
Okay, Saigon Zoo. I don't know what we're gonna see, but we came on a good day. It's a weekend, lots of children here. Amusement park, antelope, ostrich, giraffe. I can make a pre-recorded video here. I could if I run out of data. See what's over here. Whoa, ostrich and giraffe. Oh, it says Saigon, one of the most lively cities. It's amazing. white striped horse. There's a rhino over there.
Wow, I can't believe how close we are to this ostrich and the rhino. Thanks so much, Dream Machine, for the super chat. You got a uh, new phone and gimbal to do live streams. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the support. Thanks, Dream Machine. I got to it. Appreciate it again. What other animals are in the zoo now? Wow. Having a rhino in this zoo is huge. What the? They have a water park in the zoo? This is one of the best zoos ever. You get a keychain, there's a water park, there's a rhino, there's live entertainment and food. It's one of the best zoos I've ever been to. What a great idea. Look at this. The zoo is incredible. Johnson Z says lots better than Disneyland. I mean, it's way different than Disneyland for sure. Oh, I see another animal down there. Kind of looks like an antelope. Family picture. Wow, how do we get over there?
Cam, you said you saw a camping tent back there. Yeah, I saw that too. Oh, there's a peacock there. Yeah, Johnson, this is a very happy and family-friendly zoo. I mean, generally, many zoos that I've been to are very family-oriented. Hey, look at this. If my friend Eric Mendoza is in the chat, you know exactly what these are. And anybody from Florida, they're actually native to Southeast Asia. Introduced to Florida, the iguana. Man, they are really, really munching at those um, plants and like veggies. Ooh, another iguana. This is so cool to see him just like, look at how many of them are here. Whoa. I don't know about you, but this is like so fascinating to me. <laughs> it must, we came at the right time too, it's feeding time. What in the world? No way, that's not a real snake, is it? No, those are props. I thought that was a real snake. I was like, oh my gosh. Man, this is cool. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Oh man, what is going on? Yeah, Laura, there's more iguanas here than Florida. This is where they live. They're native to Southeast Asia.
but they're thriving in uh, South Florida as well because of the similar climate. It's giving me South Florida vibes all over again. Okay, let's uh, go through the other area here. Whoa! Man, is this an entire iguana farm or uh, exhibit? This is like the coolest exhibit ever. <laughs> Man, I gotta show my uh, Florida contacts and friends this live stream or at least this portion of it. Man. It's a lot of iguanas. Holy moly. I can watch these guys all day. Oh, that's a big one. Water dragon. Holy moly. You're not waking that guy up. He's fast asleep.
Look, they have a whole mural to the iguana here. Wow, I've never seen so many iguanas in one place before. This is nuts. It says this must be pretty mesmerizing for the kids. Even for me, I've seen so many iguanas, but like this is something else to see them in groups eating all the plants and leaves and, and fruit and stuff. Whoa. It's a big snake. Burmese python. My goodness. These are incredible. Oh, that's awesome, Dream Machine. You got a scooter also. <laughs> Man, that is good sculpture. Let's see what else is in this zoo. I'm sure there's so much more to see. Oh my God, this is so lazy. <laughs> the zoo could have used higher resolution pictures than these. These, are, these look like they've been printed from 
like Google image search. <laughs> you tell me they couldn't have printed a better giraffe picture than this, than to have it all pixelated. <laughs> okay, let's see the Windows 95 giraffe. <laughs> Tiger. Wow, they have monkeys here. I don't even know where we are now. Anyway, my dad is gonna run out soon, so I can't really uh, linger too long. I think I only have like five minutes left before I run out. You know what, folks? I think this is a good time for me to uh, wrap this live stream up. I'm going to get something to eat over here, relax for a bit, enjoy some of the zoo some more. I hope you had a great time with me today here in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hi everyone, take care.